Are you a brew head? I'm a brew head. Are you a brew head? I'm a brew head. Y'all a brew heads? Yeah, we brew heads. So pour a glass of craft beer, we can do this. Yeah. What's good, y'all? This is C Certified Brewhead, and welcome to another edition of BML here on BAOS. Uh, this evening, ladies and gentlemen, you will see four fine ass beers from our good friends at Wellington in Guelph, Ontario. Shout out to Brad for hooking that up. This is the latest four pack, the Welly Rebooted Mix Pack, Volume 4. Um, we did, I think, one of these, Volume 3 or 2, recently. I don't recall exactly, but I'll uh, link that in the description and at the end. Um, Definitely had, uh, I would say, two of these uh, prior. Um, but this one sounds really, really good. A, a fantastic variety of beers. Um, this one is Lager Dave, a uh, 5% lager. Uh, Shouts to Adam Brewhead told me that one's really, really fire. This is their Belgian Wit, 4.5%. Uh, I saw this can, if I'm not mistaken, this one was in a can, and um, it's actually like supposed to be like a hazy wit beer, and I was quite intrigued by that one. Um, this is an upside IPA. This bad boy, five point. No, it's not. I'm so lying. This is the against the current uh, black current kettle sour. Uh, Scotty and I had this one. We got like a big bottle of it one time in an older video. Super sick. So I'm actually stoked to try that again. And this is the upside IPA. This is a New England. Um, it's kind of more like Vermont than New England. Looking at that, like it's a little like sort of opaque. But I guess we'll see when we bust it out. Um, Six point eight percent. We had cans. We did that one when we tried to do the um, drones last summer. We had our we had our friend's house, and they had a drone, and we were trying to like do like a sick like intro shot, but it we waited to too late at night, and it was dark. Didn't work. Anyways, do my obligatory shout outs. Brewheads for the um, if you use our code in the description, you can get any of their stuff fifteen percent off. Uh, seriously, Brewheads are so sick. They're all like my favorite beer brand for the longest time. Uh, still are, of course, and uh, I wish she still did this one, Phil, but we'll have to figure that one out. Um, Shouts to Pretty Penny. Check that in the description as well, and Ontario Brews for the tea. All links below, all fire, all local. Well, these guys are Arizona, but still North America, local. All right, let's get it in us. So, I've been listening to y'all. Uh, I've mentioned this a few times about the uh, glass cleaning slash different glasses. So, this was my only Wellington um, branded glass. So I busted this bad boy out for the Dave. Look at that. So I'm not entirely sure who Lager Dave is, or who Dave is. Um, that's a Pilsner, even though it's called Lager. I like that. Um, not really much to say, except, you know, straightforward beers. I look forward to these now, look at that. Clarity is fantastic. That is sick, actually. Nice uh, bready nose. So, get in ya. Yeah, man, that's great. A little sweet, um, sharp combination, super refreshing. Um, nice and malt forward. It's definitely that bready vibes coming through. Bread, not bread. Mm. Yeah, shit, that's great. I see what you're saying, Adam. This is sick, bro. Um, just a fantastic, refreshing lager. I'm really enjoying that. We've been talking about it a bunch online recently about um, you know just lagers coming sort of back into style and stuff. And this one isn't even like a dry hopped one. This is just a nice traditional pills. Um, super sick. Really like yeah, having another sip. Yeah. I wonder if they're going to release that outside the pack. Because I know at least this and the this was a big guy. This was a can. I think this was a can. So you might be able to get that in, in cans or other formats as well. But this is kind of a nice way to... Sample a bunch of beers. I really like, um, all right. I really like mix packs for that reason. It gives you an opportunity to kind of like, you know, run through a brewery's uh, offerings, like from the jump without sort of committing to anything larger. I'm gonna do that little swell, see if we can get some of that, if there is some haze at the bottom there that needs to be in here. Ooh, it's got that uh, definite wit style uh, foamy head. I love smelling the bottles. You guys smell bottles or cans? Comment below if you do. I think it's uh, fun. Um, cans always smell better than bottles. Though. I kind of like punch you in the face. So Belgian style wit beer, lemon and lime zest called Digger's Wit. Uh, hazy wheat body. So maybe it like, uh, I guess that's opaque. I'll call that opaque. Um, citrus spice, balanced dry. And it's a tribute to Doug Digger Hawkins. Don't know what he did, but it's probably a good bloke if you got a beer named after him, mate. So, uh, Get it in ya. Hmm. 
Nice. Crisp, super crisp. Maybe these are a little cold or something, but they're crisp as hell. Um, sharp carbonation, banana, cloves, usual what you would expect from a whip. Um, definitely got that wheaty kind of body as opposed to the bread that you find in uh, like a lager type beer. Um, a little creamy. Super refreshing. What is this? Four, that was five. What is this? This is four or five. That's why. Yeah. Summer Crusher. Not a lot to it. Light body. I would say not a lot to it, meaning it's just approachable. Um, yeah. Refreshing as hell. I'm enjoying it. Love it. All right. This bad boy. I wasn't sure which order to do these. I figured I'd just do the, the sour first because it's lighter in like ABV, not necessarily flavor. So I'm a huge kettle sour guy and. Um, Oh yeah, I remember this being bloody awesome. Wow, look at that color, man. That is so sick. It looks like freaking Shiraz. Get that up, yeah. And also on these like beers that are usually the sexy kind of like red or whatever, they have that uh like beet color, like foamy head. So sexy. So five five against the current kettle sour, fresh Ontario black currants, uh, lemon zests. I guess notes of that. Excuse me. All right. Either way. What did I say it was? 5-5. Five, five. All right, kids. Get in ya. Mm. That is fucking amazing. So, do you guys have Ribena here? Babe? Yeah. Uh, yeah? I think it's in British, sorry. British? So, this is like... Aussies will know. Um, it's like this like juice... We, we call it cordial, but y'all don't really have that here. It's kind of like a juice concentrate. You know those Minute Maid or whatever? Those little frozen drink things you can get at the supermarket and then you just chuck them in a jug and chuck some water in it. It kind of makes this cold like juice drink. So it's basically like a concentrate. It's not frozen. It's usually in like a 650 ml bottle, something like that. And they had... It was called Ribena and they have a black currant. It's black currant flavor. And that's what you drink growing up. It's kind of like the healthy version of cordial or whatever. Probably got just as much sugar, but this tastes exactly like that, like a beer Ribena. Fuck. Mmm. It's even got the same, like, there's like a dusty dryness that I never even thought about that until now. It's actually the exact same thing. It's probably from the black currants, but this has traveled right through to the beer. This is fantastic. Super creamy. Um, extremely refreshing. Crisp. Um... Really nice balanced sour, a little bit puckering, a little tart, but not like over the top, not punching the face, but also it's it's present enough. Sometimes I've had sours lately, they're just way too soft for my personal palate. Um, I much prefer it kind of like this. Oh man, that is so lit, I can't wait to drink that, the rest of that. All right, last one, Upside IPA, 6.8. This is the New England, like I said. When I had this, it was unfortunately out of a friggin' red solo cup in the dark at a friend's barbecue. So it wasn't like a optimal way to consume it. And I was quite excited because this is one of the few um, New England style, at least it's, you know, marketed as a New England style IPA that's available regularly at LCBOs. Now, as far as how they store it, can't speak to that. After, um, if you check out Left Field episode, episode 80, Oh yeah, it smells amazing. Uh, on the podcast, there are ways to actually work within the LCBO system to make sure that these type of beers aren't shelf aged or whatever. And um, I'm not sure if this comes under that because that means they ship it weekly direct from the brewery or the brewery's distributor as opposed to through the LCBO system which they get warehoused and that's where the problems start. So this is the, the pack. Now because the other three beers don't really need to be um, refrigerated, um, I don't know if this would come under that. So if anyone knows, comment, let us know. I hope uh, that's the case. So New England style IPA, <coughs> excuse me, juicy, unfiltered, grapefruit, peach, tropical hop. It's Vermont style yeast. So to me, this is more of a Vermont style uh, than New England, but I mean, it's sometimes same kind of shit. Uh, flaked wheat. So it's hazy, smooth, creamy, bam. All right. Get in you guys. Oh yeah. Fruity in the mouth, in the nose, sorry. Nice. A little bit got, got the creamy from the creamy mouthful from the wheat. Um, it's like a touch dank, like a little bit. Super sweet though, really good. Um, I love the trop like tropical hop sweetness. Um, definitely getting, what did it say? Peach? Grapefruit. Mm. I'm getting both. 
the grapefruit is the because I was gonna say it's a little bitter, and maybe that's part of what the dankness is coming through. So definitely a little bit of grapefruit, a little bit of peach in there. Um, this is super crushable, actually. This is like a it's still so, like a little light bodied. It's not like it's creamy, but it's not like over the top. As you can see, you can still kind of see through it a bit. Usually the ones that are like real like milk, they are the ones that are like super super creamy. But mm, that's really solid, um, and it's good to see that there's you know. Uh, a New England IPA from uh, you know Ontario brewery that's available widely. Um, that's just fantastic. It's, there's not that many, I would say, that you can get from memory. If you know of any, uh, whether well, on, this is Ontario beer, so we're talking about LCBO. So if you can, if you guys know of anything, you can get at the beer store, or you can get Badlands at the beer store, right? And I think most of theirs are New England star. So I'd be curious to see how that goes as far as like stories and stuff, but. If there's any widely available New England IPAs, I'd love to hear about it. So, guys, that was it. Oh, yeah, this is cool, too. The Wellington Pack also comes with these uh, coasters. So, like, local artists design these coasters. This is Series 5 of, uh, or Volume 5 of the Coaster Series, um, which is super sick as well. I really like that they do that. So, they're supporting local artists. They're giving you, uh, you know, um, some fantastic, like, a nice range. You know, lager, wit, sour, IPA that you know in one pack you get a nice little overall picture of the brewery um i keep hearing more and more and more about wellington particularly from uh, my mates in that in the region in guelph and cambridge and kitchener um people are speaking very highly i've always enjoyed their beers scott and i did go to the brewery back in like 2011 or whatever um back then i remember that was the first time we ever got one of the silver bullet cans with the um with the sticker on it we never got one of those cans before so we talked about that the other day very cool so definitely got a soft spot for wellington i think this is uh really good stuff i also really enjoy their branding i think they're really stepping it up and really taking it further um as have a bunch of ontario breweries we've mentioned them before like nickel brook and um shit who else was it can't remember there's a bunch of other grand river have really improved and a bunch of other people who have really like improved their game i think it's dope so that is it guys check out the mixer pack if you enjoyed the episode smash that thumbs up mate hit the crap out of it uh hit the notification bell so you know when we drop the brand new videos and uh also subscribe which is the most important there as well so you know what's popping follow us on social media at bios podcast and check out the long form audio uh apple podcast wherever you get your talkie media um and if you're on apple podcast please review and rate and subscribe the review and rating keeps helps keep us uh pushing it up there um that is it y'all we'll see you in the next video and as always get it in ya <laughs>